have two incredibly neat young people with us today from Central High School, mm -hmm. a senior, Katie Finley, and a sophomore, mm -hmm. Thomas Franco. Yes. And they are, they grew up, at, went to different schools here in San Angelo, mm -hmm but are now at Central, but are in a, an incredibly uh, wonderful club that nobody made you join. Mm -hmm. And it is, that's what I want our audience to know about. And but before we do that, share with our audience what schools you have attended. Thomas, start with you. Well, in elementary, I went to San Jacinto. Um, and then in middle school, I went to Lee Middle School, then on to Central Freshman Campus, and now, here at Central High School. Okay. Have you so have you lived here your whole life? Yes. Okay. I cool. I I was never fortunate enough to live just in one place, so I think that's really cool oh. when I know somebody <laughs> that has. But you might have wished you had lived a bunch of places. Yeah. <laughs> so we always want what we don't have. Mm -hmm. Texas is pretty awesome. So. Right. <laughs> that's so neat. Okay, Katie, tell me the schools you've attended. Um. I attended Bonham and then I moved to Virginia for a year and then I went to Travis and then Lamar and then Glen Meadows School and then Central. So you are, the commonality you have now is the Key Club, mm -hmm. which is a high school club uh, sponsored by the Kiwanis Club, which is a service organization for those mm -hmm. in our audience that don't know. And actually, I bragged about your club on TV uh, KLST a, a couple of weeks ago because of all the awards you have won your club. So you not only have the whole mission of this club is what? Caring. Caring. Um and service. and doing service mm -hmm. and then you've won these awards from texas and oklahoma all the kiwanis club key clubs because y'all did so much <laughs> isn't that right yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a large number of key clubs in texas right. and oklahoma S several hundred yeah, 371 371, 371 clubs. and you all got the sixth highest outstanding mm -hmm. club, which isn't just because you're cute. <laughs> you earned it. But mm -hmm. tell the, our, our, our listeners, how did you earn the right to be the sixth highest uh, key club? Well, I think for starters, to us, it wasn't really about the ranks. It was about um, trying to get key club out and trying to get um, more students involved. But uh, we just tried to do projects. Um, you know, you round like every week we try to have at least like one project it seemed. And we, right. we basically just try to get that service out there mm -hmm. and make it, you know, provide it to our community and make sure that they knew that we were there to help. Yeah. All right, yeah. give it what the TV anchor uh, asked me is give us examples of what kind of service you try to do. Um, well, really we tried focusing on um, younger kids like we went to Angela Catholic and to Sacred Heart and Fort Concho. Those were like our kind of... Um, Adopted. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yes, ma'am. Um, and we went to... We had several like American Heart Association walk that needed help face painting and just pretty much we put our name out in the newspaper and stuff about some projects that we did and then so more people would uh, call us and they would send us emails and we did uh, all sorts we of We also worked with Safe Kids Coalition. Oh, yes. That's and one. We did one, one of my of the, favorites. <laughs> yes, one of their projects we helped actually sizing for the car seats mm -hmm. and um, helping provide new ones to people, mm -hmm. children who needed them. And that was and one of my favorites. Destroying the old ones. Right, that, we destroyed yeah. the old yeah. ones that weren't usable anymore. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Katie so. really was helpful with Katie, I remember her last name. She was the, the leader yes, of Safe Kids. Yes. She was very helpful with us and getting us projects. So the projects that you've done, you all are partial toward helping children, younger mm -hmm. children. Yeah. Well, we also, um, uh, for different um, holiday events for the nursing homes, we hand, we made some uh, cards. cards at like, the cards meetings. So it was just, this year it seemed like there was more, it was really all over. Anybody who needed help just would let us know. So we didn't even have to search a lot. They kind of came to us, and then you know we just put our name out, and they came to us, sort of. It was a very busy year, and we yeah, thought, it was it was really fun getting to help out everyone and really getting involved with our community, and making 
giving them the help they needed. And we really got so. to know a lot of new mm -hmm. people from it too. So. Had you all as younger, younger people uh, in years past been as involved in community service as you have been with the Key Club? I would say that Key Club actually presented to me a new opportunity because I felt like I didn't really know how to get involved or where to go and Key Club opened the door and it really showed me that I could be involved and I could make a difference mm -hmm. and you know I'm really grateful to Key Club for doing that to me. And okay you are our younger of the two students as a mm -hmm. sophomore how did you find out about it? Well I actually um, heard it on the announcements one day yeah. Katie had put up an announcement um, to join Key Club and that it would be a lot of fun and so I just showed up to a meeting and just learned um, a lot about what it actually was because I wasn't sure like most people I wasn't sure exactly what it was and um, she, she talked about all the service projects that they do and it, I got really interested in it and that's pretty much how I got involved. When it. do you meet? Uh, we actually had a so at sophomore orientation we tried meeting some people and then we had a meeting like the first week of school and we meet it at 630 almost every Thursday in the cafeteria. In the evening, so you go home mm -hmm. and you come back. Mm -hmm. Wow, you've got to have uh, extra uh, initiative to do that. Mm -hmm. Your shirt says, Caring, colon, it's our way of life. Mm -hmm. uh, San Angelo Central High School, Region 5, Division 12, 2010-2011. So it, it, you have a great sponsor oh, yes. mm -hmm. from Central High School. And faculty advisor, and Kiwanis, they're all definitely always there for us. They're always very helpful. Yeah. If you were trying to sell other students to when they get to high school be a part of this, give me a sales pitch. Pretend I'm uh, an eighth or ninth grader. <laughs> sell me, and I'm a very busy person, so sell me as a busy eighth or ninth grader on becoming, why I need to become a key club, meant to work that into my busy schedule. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, uh, well, um, I feel like there's always opportunities to help out, not only if you're busy, you can always, we have plenty of things to donate if you can't, you know, show up to a meeting and we try to uh, understand everybody's schedule. It's not like, you know, you have a certain Right, and we, I like, like, we're not a meeting club, we're a service club. Yes. So, I mean, if you can't make it to a meeting, it's not, I mean, it's more so that we want you to be able to provide the service that our club aims to accomplish. And We're pretty um, flexible. Good yeah. for y'all. Like okay, like you're speaking my language. Right. <laughs> and, I mean, sometimes, like, I'll ask somebody, um, you know, what do you do on weekends? And they'll say, oh, well, I play video games, or I'm, you know, I, I go to the mall. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, maybe you'd like to try this. It's something, I mean, it's not as boring as people might think it is. You know, they think, oh, you're going to waste your weekend, give it away to Key Club. But it's a lot more fun than people actually mm -hmm. think. And, you know. Okay, so how is it going to be fun? Well, we try and make it fun. <laughs> um, like at the American Heart Association walk, they had a dance off thing, and it was the funniest thing watching all these people dance. There's always something, and there's like, uh, there was an arts fair thing that we helped out at, and we got to learn about, you know, the Chinese cult, or about Chinese making food and stuff like that, and uh, we got to make some, I don't know what they were called, I can't pronounce them, but we got to learn about food and just different opportunities. As you were helping, you mm -hmm. got to learn. And also at Sacred Heart, um, they play with the kids. They don't, I mean. We play dodgeball. That's what they're like, there. They play dead dodgeball. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, not dodgeball, kickball, my bad, sorry. And at Fort Concho, I mean, you read to the kids, but it's not just sitting there reading. They they really get involved cute, yeah. and they start, I mean, it's just a lot of fun playing with them. And yeah. I mean. I mean, there might be a, you know, a project. You just, there's plenty of projects. You just find the one that's right for you to help out with. Mm -hmm. How, how, help me remember how many hours of service y'all have given this year. Um, we had 59 members and over 4,000 hours yeah, out of all of them. 4,000, um, 150 yes. hours. And 25 of our members got 60 or above. They lettered. They got the letterman jacket thing. And th that was all of our officers and mm -hmm. some of the members for this year. So that was all this year. So it sounds like you intend to stay in the Key Club next year. Yes, He's our I'm coming the president. president. Oh, good for you! Good <laughs> for you! you. 
So your what lifelong has this meant to you? How are you changed person because you have been in this club? I'll always remember being in Key Club, um, being president since um, sometimes it's hard for me to like talk in front of people. Like I'm sometimes very shy. It's kind of open, you know, open up my mind and um, giving you confidence. Yes, yes, thank you. Good. <laughs> and um, just learning that about you know being selfless and thinking about other people, and not being selfish. Sure. And why is this is going to sound like a silly question, but why is being selfless and caring, making it a way of life, important? Because if um, if nobody cared, I mean, where would yeah, this world be today? Yes. I mean, you yourself, you have to think of how it would affect you if nobody cared about, you know. If you didn't care about our club, then we wouldn't be on this right now, and we wouldn't be able to get our word out and be able to do more projects and get more kids involved in helping out other people. And us caring about the community would get it us nowhere. Mm -hmm. Do you think that getting involved in doing community service thousands of hours like you have mm -hmm. by being, if you're in Key Club several years, you will have uh, volunteered lots and lots of hours mm -hmm. when you could be sitting on a couch doing something else, mm -hmm. being on the internet or whatever, whatever. Do you think this as you leave high school, and it's close for you, uh, Katie, that this will impact your decisions as you go to college? Do you? Yes, ma'am. Um, because of some of the projects we've done, like we've done some with the Children's Miracle Network, and that's what's kind of helped me decide to be in the medical field. So it's, you know, just little things have helped me. And you know that there are equal opportunities for service in college mm -hmm. and for the rest of your life. But if you look around and you've had an opportunity to help on a lot of community projects, it's older people like myself who are retired who are doing most of the volunteer hours. So do you envision yourself keeping on volunteering and then and not just quitting when you mm -hmm. graduate and picking it back up when you retire 30 years later? <laughs> um, the, the K family actually has several branches mm -hmm. for that. They have in college they have the Circle K mm -hmm. which is um, it's for college basically it's not it's more so a more independent key club because you get more involved but um, in college you do K, um, circle K mm -hmm. and then you move up after you move on to Kiwanis so that you can uh, stay involved with the community so that you don't drift away um, and that just being a part of the K family that's and I plan on I plan on doing that me too I've even noticed that like we go to the soup kitchen and there's other um, families that just come by that aren't even in a club at all and they just you know you can there's plenty of opportunities if you look for them so I've seen other people not even in clubs that can make a difference well we all there is something we can all do at different stages of our lives even if we don't have money or uh, we just have to look a little bit don't we I mm -hmm. think being a part of a club keep some more accessible to us and we're mm -hmm. they're in our forefront of our mind more easily but as you just said even as a family that's not necessarily a member of a club there's so many opportunities mm -hmm. to serve and how does it this is another question that may seem just trivial but how does it make you feel after you're leaving having served in a project feels really good. Um, just, just seeing that gratitude like on the face of whoever we helped, mm -hmm. it's just, it's an amazing feeling definitely. to be able to know that you made a difference. Yeah. That You can't buy that. that. No. <laughs> and you delivering, know. like, we delivered food to Meals for Elderly and they were, like, overwhelmed. It's yeah. amazing. That's a, such a worthy, I did it for my first few years here in town and want to get back into doing that. Mm -hmm. they're, they're lonely and they get to see a mm -hmm. neat person yeah. deliver their food. I enjoy it immensely. Mm -hmm. If you were, if you had a wish uh, how to make your club better, have you thought of how do you make your club better? Well, I'd say just working more individually with the members 
so that they don't feel like they're kind of spaced out. They don't feel segregated from the club as a whole because I know a lot of people, a lot of members kind of drift away because they don't feel like Definitely. they're apart. Being they're as involved, as included. And so if, yeah. I think if we focused more on the individual member um, rather than as a whole, all the members, then I think we could make it a lot to better. To keep them in. And keep, keep them yeah, in. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Keep them serving. Yeah. It's kind of difficult because we try and be like bigger so we can mm -hmm. get more people, but then it like takes away from the family aspect of it. But right, because we are a family. Trying, yeah, yes, exactly. As a so. club, we work. Together. Well, you want to expand. You meet every like, week. <laughs> <laughs> that is so amazing that y'all do that. This isn't a once a month mm -hmm. thing, and you, it isn't during the day when it's easy. Right. Mm -hmm. And we work through the summer as well. It's, I mean, it doesn't end with the school year. It actually just begins uh, yeah. at the end of the school year, our new year, and so we work through the summer and just to keep our hours coming. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say that the biggest thing you give is your time? Yes, yes. definitely. definitely yeah. yeah, so I think we all have the same number of hours a day. So mm -hmm. it's, what we it's what we <laughs> so. do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, you two have inspired me greatly. <laughs> I, I, I mean that sincerely and I will, we're glad, Katie, that we will be able to bump into you next year as you go to ASU, and uh, we're proud of you. And uh, Thomas, it's exciting to me that this club next year, mm -hmm. you will be able to follow in Katie's. Uh, really? She's taught you a lot, hasn't she? Has. She? she has definitely taught me. And um, big little shoes to fill, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to fill with uh, being the number six club. Mm -hmm. Is that the highest your club has ranked? We have uh, actually been number three at one I think point. It, well, yes, quite wow. a while ago. Right. Yeah. But it's, next year I plan on going. Are a you lot competitive, higher. Thomas? <laughs> yes. Very okay. It's, <laughs> so, it's crazy because we have clubs out there that um, have like 100 members in it. It's like wow. But they didn't do as many service hours mm -hmm. as y'all, and yeah. yet they had. What a tribute to y'all. Way to go. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't worry about you two out in the world. You're going to be unselfish and making the world a better place Thank because you. of your what you've already shown us here. Thank you. It's my pleasure to meet you both. Thank you. It's our pleasure as well. Yes, so